folks who know cotton say Tennessee's production has momentum. Commodity prices are projected to be good for farmers, and the ag economy seems to point to a nice uptick in acreage this year. 2017, we were at about 340,000 acres. I fully expect to, to break 380, maybe get up into the four, low 400 range. Dr. Tyson Raper with UT Extension was one of the organizers of Cotton Focus in Jackson, where farmers heard about trends in production and prices. Attending that conference, Lake County's John Lindemood, who last year grew more than 1% of Tennessee's cotton by himself. What's helped tremendously in recent times? Getting rid of a harmful pest. It's hard now to to look back and attribute uh, increases in yields to one thing or another, but there's no doubt that the eradicating the boll weevil uh, played a significant role in our increased yields. Boll weevils were the bane of southern cotton for decades. Weevils lay eggs in cotton and eat their way through the plant. But no more. Eradication programs in the early 2000s all but wiped out boll weevils. Tennessee now has been boll weevil free for over a decade. Long and short of it is that was our number one pest and it's gone and it's saved us a lot of yield over the years. While the boll weevils have been banished from these fields, cotton farmers face other issues. Producers have to play a money game as cotton typically is an expensive business venture. For instance, the machinery needed for cotton. These pickers are a few years old, but new ones cost close to a million dollars. Ag economists with UT Extension say despite this dawning expense, commodity prices are leading to renewed interest among producers to consider cotton. Uh, due to some of the machinery costs, it's going to be a long-term capital investment for people. So you have to be reasonably sh certain that you're going to be able to secure those prices, not just for one growing season, but for multiple growing seasons. For now, this growing season starts soon. And what should help make it a success? A critter that's notably missing from these fields. Charles Denny for Jackson 24-7.